Today's video will focus on dual booting FIDE OS with Windows and also installing the Play Store. But before that, let's have a brief overview of FIDE OS. FIDE OS is essentially a Chromium-based operating system, or you could say it's a modified version of Chrome OS X. The main difference between the two is that installing Chrome OS can be quite challenging, whereas FIDE OS installation is super easy. FIDE OS is designed especially for students, providing them with all the productivity-related apps they need. In terms of performance, it's 10 times faster than Windows because it consumes significantly less RAM. Let's switch to the computer screen. Let's roll. Before starting the installation, let's briefly discuss the system requirements of this operating system. If your PC specs are similar to mine, such as having 2 GB of RAM and a 2 GHz processor, then you should be able to install it. However, if you have only 1 GB of RAM, you can still install it, but it might lag significantly. Guys, you have three files in front of you. One is Rufus, the second is Etcher, and the third is the FIDE OSISO file. Both Rufus and Etcher serve the same purpose, but if Rufus doesn't work for you, or if you encounter a black screen issue after booting from the USB, you can use Etcher instead. Using Etcher is quite simple. You just need to install it. Then select the FIDE OSISO file, choose your USB drive, and click on the flash button, and your bootable pen drive will be ready in few minutes. After creating the bootable USB drive, you simply need to restart your PC and access your system's boot menu. To access the boot menu, you need to press the boot key for your PC. In my Dell laptop, the boot key is F12, but it may be different for other brands of laptops. Once you've booted from the USB, you'll see several options, among which you should choose the first option. So, here the loading process of FIDE OS has started, and it may take some time to complete. It took me about 30 minutes, and initially, I thought it might be stuck, but it wasn't. Now you need to choose your preferred language and click OK. After that, click on Get Started. You have the option to first try FIDE OS without making any changes to your PC, but since you want to install it, click on Install. Then, select the Multi-Boot Installation option. So now, you need to select a partition for FIDE OS, ensuring that the partition where you're installing FIDE OS is completely empty. After that, select the 100 MBFI partition and choose the recommended option below. It. Then, click on Install. The installation process has started, and it will take some time to complete. One hour later. After the installation is complete, your PC will restart immediately, and then you'll reach your system's boot menu. Here, you have the option to boot into your previous Windows system as well, but I will choose FIDE OS and then select the first option. In the next step, it will prompt you to set up FIDE OS, so let me quickly set it up. After setting up, you'll receive a notification on your desktop, which you need to click on. If you don't receive the notification, you can also activate it from the Start menu. In the next step, you need to accept their license agreement and click on Launch. Then, you'll need to go to the Start menu and open the store. Here, you'll click on Configure Google Apps, or if you don't see it up front in the store, you can search for it using the search bar. Now, you'll click on Add, then click on Add App. After that, click on Open Apps, then check the box and click on Next. In the next step, click on Install, and then click OK. As soon as you click OK, the Play Store download will start. After the installation is complete, click on Reboot Now. So friends, now that we have successfully installed the Play Store, let's quickly sign in. I have signed in here, and our Play Store is working perfectly fine. Now, you can easily run Android apps on your PEC. Speaking of Android games, I tried several games, but many of them were either crashing or not installing at all. So, in conclusion, I would say that this operating system is not suitable for gaming at all because it lacks key mapping support and many games don't run perfectly on it. However, you can use this OS for small tasks and basic usage. Alright friends, that was today's video. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like the video, and if you're interested in computer-related content, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.